Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I'm going to show you how to customize the Pro Photoshop layered backdrops. The current theme that we're working with is the Action Zone theme. Finish, it's going to look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way, and we're going to start fresh. So when we first pull up the template, it'll look like this. If you need to open it, you come up to File, Open, and then you browse on your computer to the file that you need. And you do the same thing in pulling up your extracted player. And I have my extracted player here up. And if you need to know how to do that, I have another tutorial that shows you how to extract a player from the background. And I'll put a link to that at the bottom of this tutorial. So I'm going to move this off to the side. And then I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to minimize this, bring this over. And when you pull up your template, this layer will be highlighted that says place extracted player here. So when you drag in your extracted player, it should go right into that spot. OK, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and change the colors of the lights. So I'm going to double click this little FX. These three check marks that are checked are the things that are going to need to be changed. So I'm going to click my color. And for this one, I want to go with blue. So I'm going to come up to the blue that I want. Click OK. Then Enter Glow. I'm just going to come up to the blue again. Double click the color. Slide it up. You can choose any color, but I'm just keeping the intensity by just sliding it up and entering. But of course, you could click any area. But I'm just, it just makes it quick and easy if you just keep the intensity. But they're pretty flexible, so you can do anything you want. I'm going to click OK. So that one is changed. Now I'm going to come over to the other one. Double click the FX. OK, and I'm going to make this one green. So you can choose the intensity of your green there. And just slide it up. And we're going to come over to this one. Double click the FX. We'll go with blue on that one. Done with that. And this one's going to be blue as well. You can use exact colors if you want to copy and paste exact colors. You would put the colors in here if you want to make sure it's exactly the same for each one. I'm just going through this pretty quickly to show you how it works. OK, so we have the colors changed. I'm going to go ahead and take this one and press my Shift key and make this one a little bit bigger and move it. You can rotate it if you want and press Enter. Now I'm going to come over to this one. and I want this one around his arm. You're just going to have to choose where you want to put them. You can turn them off if you don't want to use all of them, or you can even duplicate them if you want to use more than one, and you can flip them and change them all over. So I go over how to flip and rotate in the overview video. So you might want to refer back to that one. Then I'm going to come up to this and make a little bit more changes. I'm going to come up to Edit, Transform, Warp. And then I'm going to bring this down and bring this out and bring this out to right around his leg and press enter. Then I'm going to come to the other one, edit, transform, warp, and do the same thing more or less. Bring this over.
about right there, and press enter. Okay, now we're going to start masking. So I'm going to come up to my light trail that's around the arm, and I'm going to come to my brush tool. Make sure you have the mask selected over here. You make sure you have black on top, and you can switch them by using this little bent arrow. And I'm going to come over here. You can make your brush larger or smaller by pressing the right or left bracket, and I'm just going to start masking that off. And if you take away too much, you can come over here and switch it and then bring a little bit back. And you can zoom in to make sure that you have it exactly the way you want. Now I'm going to come to the other one, make sure my mask is selected and come over. Oh, I have the wrong side. Mask that off. And then I'm going to come to the next one. I'm going to, oh, I didn't have the mask selected. That's what happens when you don't have the mask selected. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger here. Make it smaller. And you can take more time with this. I'm just trying to quickly show you how this works. Just make sure you get it all wiped away. And I just, I'm going to take this off right here because I don't like it to look like something is coming out of his face. If his face was maybe turned a different way, it would look better, but I just don't like the way it looks with it coming out like that. Make sure all that's gone. Okay, so now we're going to change the color. So I'm going to come over to my layers and arrow down. I'm going to turn on Hue Saturation. I'm going to click on that and come over to my slider and decide what color I want. You can also use the Colorize option. So either way, you just have to decide which, which you want to go with. Colorize will make it all one color, whereas Hue Saturation might have some variations of color in it. Okay, so now I'm going to come over to the name. And you can change this to anything. You can also change the color. And I'm going to double click that and come over to Window, Character. I'm going to reduce the size. Now you can see it's getting smaller. And we want these closer together. So we're going to come up here. And I'm just pressing it over to the right. Now let's say that I wanted this name to be behind his leg. I will take it and drag it down underneath the player. So it just depends on where you want it. And I'm going to press Shift, make sure that a little bit more of it shows and move it around. Press Enter. Then you can come down to this bottom and change it to whatever you want. And of course you can move all these elements anywhere you want. And there you have it. It is customized. And I'm going to show you a couple more little tricks that you can fun things that you can do with this poster or any poster as a bonus on this one. So stay tuned. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.